Namaste, hello and welcome back to another video on Hamsavahini Vajra Astra. I'm Ohuna. In today's video, I'm going to share some updates of what's been happening in my life so far and why I've been missing in action from booktube and in social from social media in general and uh, my reading plans for 2022 and uh, the tentative readathons and reading projects which I've planned along. So to know more, do please join me further in this video. So now let me begin first by sharing what has been happening in my life so far and why I have not been on booktube for approximately one and a half months. All and off I have been trying to upload some videos. As I did upload uh, some Diwali vlogs but uh, I was supposed to have been regular beginning December 2021 but unfortunately that never happened. Uh, there had been a lot going on in my life as well as uh, there were um, a few projects which had come up which I did wrap up and uh, hopefully 2022 would see me more regular and um, would be more interesting. So um, let me just go through 2021. Uh, 2021 was uh, quite a challenging year for me personally because uh, I was down with COVID in the beginning of the year uh, and so I had to be absent from booktube for the first two months post which I was busy with my home renovation projects on two of my properties so therefore I was busy with that for the next four months so I could not start filming till um, June 2021 and after which I was regular for um, five months but after that I had gone on a vacation and um, during my vacation there was a weather alert in the area which we were touring and uh, unfortunately there were incessant rains which caused floods and landslides the roads were blocked we were cut off from all communication so there was no internet i could not upload any videos over there so unfortunately my weekly vlogs which i had um, filmed and uh, was about to upload uh, from there could not be done so i just have one um video which i managed to retrieve the others did get corrupted so i will probably not be able to post all my wrap-ups and uh, speaking of wrap-ups uh, i would like to mention that i did uh, participate in nine readathons within five months and um i was able to complete uh, uploading one wrap-up for um, Space Opera September, but the rest of the wrap-ups were something which I could not do at all. So I don't think I will be doing the wrap-ups, although I had planned initially that I will be um, finishing off with my wrap-ups in December. And that's because for every readathon, I have at least read uh, three to four books and it would be impossible for me to go through all of them uh, all over again. To, uh, because I do remember the plots, but maybe the character names would be a little fuzzy. So, so that's um, a, a glimpse of uh, 2021 briefly. And um, now let's move on to 2022. Now in 2022, I do have reading plans, reading projects, and I'll also be joining uh, wonderful booktubers 
for um, read-alongs. So I will be participating in two read-alongs, uh, one for uh, the Wolf Hall trilogy, uh, the other for um, Anne of Green Gables. And uh, fortunately, they do coincide with uh, some of the genres which I have planned to focus on in 2022. I will post a link to their uh, videos over here so that you can definitely cross-check with them and also join us if you would like. Uh, there is a Voxer group as well which you could join and um, I will post a link of all of that uh, in the description box below. Now before I uh, begin uh, I would like to mention that last year which is in 2021 I had uh, tried to focus on ecofiction and ecology as the main genre uh, and this year I will be focusing on them as well however I would like to rename it as green literature which would encompass not only ecofiction and eco nonfiction but it would also have cli-fi fiction which is an upcoming genre and um, there will be elements of um, uh, science fiction uh, like solar punk and as well as uh, eco punk and um, a variety and assortment of other non-fiction critical reads which would be based largely around conservation so these would this would be the uh, first uh, focus genre for the entire year in 2022 uh, I would also be focusing on um, classics, um, nursing literature, and when I talk about nursing literature, I talk about literary nursing literature, not the hardcore medical uh, nursing part, but um, the experiences of um, nurses which have been written firsthand as well as uh, nursing nonfiction and nursing fiction. Uh, there is a project which I will also be associating with it, which I will be mentioning further. Uh, post this, I will also be focusing on uh, crime and mystery fiction which uh, I have been really um, encouraged to follow uh, more into by um, Janelle from Two Founded Books. Her entire channel focuses on uh, mystery as well as crime fiction and I absolutely love the way her channel is turning out and uh, I will be catching up with her channel for all the wonderful uh, books that she has been sharing lately and I will link uh, her video over here so that you can uh, cross check with it. Uh, post this I will also be uh, focusing on um, science fiction so the last three genres which i will be exploring uh, on this channel in 2022 would be fantasy literature asian literature as well as gothic literature so i do have all of this planned out now apart from this there are a few reading projects which i will also be incorporating and um, uh, the first reading project would be the trollope dickens project in which i will be dedicating a year to reading uh, anthony trollope's works as well as uh, charles dickens works of course um, they are quite extensive and uh, i will be dedicating uh, half of the year to anthony trollope and half of the year to uh, charles dickens and um, i hope that i will be able to keep up because uh, they are extensive and uh, i wanted to explore their works so uh, that would be the first project the second project which uh, would be featured on this particular channel well, would be um, the victorian times project in which uh, i will be exploring um, every Everything from the Victorian life to Victorian medicine as well as uh, the dark side of um, Victorian um, medical science uh, which would deal with the resurrectionists as well and uh, the gruesome art of surgery when it started there will be a lot of focus on um, nursing as it started uh, during the um, Victorian times and uh, the uh, plight of uh, women uh, during the Industrial Revolution as it started. There will also be a glimpse of the science fiction, uh, which was being, um, I would say it started budding during that time because um, there were naturalists uh, who had started emerging who were the original scientists and uh, fiction and non-fiction rel relative to those would also uh, be featured on this particular channel and uh, apart from that a crime and punishment uh, would be um, something which I would like to explore because uh, that's something which was um, uh, quite prominent in the Victorian culture. Unfortunately, I have not seen much literature on it, but uh, I'm quite curious about it because uh, a ver 
I would say a majority of uh, Charles Dickens' work does focus on the um, after effects of the Industrial uh, Revolution, especially uh, on the um, poor side of the society. So I would like to explore that as well. So th that is a project um, which I would be exploring. Um, every month I'll be reading a few books. So. So now let's get down to the third project. So the third project which I have planned out for this channel is called Literary Nurses Project. Now this would be a year long project which would focus on um, nursing literature which would be non-medical but it would be the first hand experience of nurses which have been written as well as there would be nursing history involved with it along with nursing fiction. Now the um, objective of um, doing this project is to encourage nurses who have been working and struggling uh, during the COVID uh, situation as well as uh, handling the post-COVID situation uh, to um, write more about their experiences so that uh, in case of there is a subconscious trauma or subconscious stress which um, probably is present it could be uh, it will, could come out on paper and once it starts coming out on paper there probably could be experiences which could be um, life-changing and which could be encouraging because uh, there's a lot of struggle which has gone on uh, as well as um, they have been through a lot so therefore in case if they can um, start writing about their experiences which most of them have done but um, yes there probably would be a budding writer which would be growing from within them and that's the main aim of uh, this particular project and uh, so this would be called the literary nurses project and um, I on the other hand would personally be learning a lot about um, the um, history of the world wars etc from a nursing point of view which is what I always wanted to do but uh, I unfortunately could not get to it uh, last year so hopefully next year I should be able to do that so these are the three projects which uh, we be featured on this particular channel uh, now apart from that there will be readathons so there'll be um, uh, the Nightingale August readathon which will be hosted um, in the month of um, August 2022 and it will be a month-long readathon uh, which will uh, focus on nursing uh, and uh, there will also be another nursing read-along in the month of May so in case if you're not able to catch up with uh, the um, August um, readathon challenge you can definitely join in the read-along and uh, those are the tentative read-alongs and the readathons that I've um, planned out for this year however there could be a couple of them springing up uh, later on so all that and more would be shared um, as and one as and when they um, are created so um, that's a brief uh, overview of what I will be uh, uh, planning on doing for this particular channel in 2022 so I would love to hear your thoughts on it and if you would like to join in in the read-alongs or participate in the readathons and uh, if you are particularly interested in any of the genres I will uh, try and uh, post a um, a collage as I would like to put it of all the genres that I will be focusing on towards the end of the video as well as a summary of the um, readathons and the read-alongs and reading projects so in case if you are interested in any um, of them at any point of time during the entire year do please join along I will also be um, linking all my um, address email addresses as well as uh, you would find my um, social media uh, links on the top of the channel uh, banner or you could also click on the um, about uh, section of this particular channel wherein I have linked all my social media um, channel links so you definitely can click them and we could always uh, chat over there in case if you are interested or in case if you would uh, like me to join along in um, any of your reading projects because I absolutely love reading projects so uh, those are the few things that I would like to mention in this video and
so that was um, just a brief summary of um, all that I have been rambling about in this particular video and it's been a slightly longer than I expected um, however I'll be back with another video very soon next week so till then take care have a good reading week ahead and namaste